What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, and we're back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to start it off with your girl, Onika, the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is out here playing chess. So she came out and checked her barbs. So Nicki Minaj, she doesn't like to admit it, but she's finally listening to me. I've been telling her for God knows how long, come out and make a statement. Come out and make a statement. I just said it again just two weeks ago. Said, well, you have to come out and make a statement. If you're if you're not for that, then come out and denounce any bobs, any of your fans that are threatening people, doxing people, you know, threatening people with violence. And what does she do? She comes out and, and basically makes that statement to I'm I got the full details of of exactly why she had she did it now. I got the full details and members only. But all you have to know is um she made sure she got that out there now. It's a chess move. And you know, the people she finally listened to Heaven in Hollywood. I've been telling her you come out and make a statement and then that way if they still do it You've already been on record as saying you don't you don't condone it. And do not threaten people on my behalf. That's what she came out and said. Do, this was her uh, what she posted on her Instagram. Do not threaten people on my behalf. So go on over to members only and get the full detail and, and also uh some Nikki secrets. We have I'll leave that uh, description and I'll leave that uh Link in the description box. Moving on to Megan the Stallion. Now, Megan the Stallion was on her Instagram and she was pretty much telling her hotties to do that big one. Make sure that you run up the video because she's doing it on her own. She reminded people that this being done independent. Megan the Stallion, she had 4 million views on that video, it was the number one trending video on YouTube. No more requested video. You see a lot of the reactions now are happening. And most people love the song, which I told you they should, because it's real rap. It is a subject matter. She's not up there just talking about her coochie or this and that. This is something that people don't really touch on, but a lot of people suffer from. Mental health, depression, you know, suicidal thoughts. And she's speaking on it. You know, when she's, when she's supposed to be at her highest point in her career. So, Megan Thee Stallion even teased people and said she has some uh, pictures that are a little too spicy for Instagram. Right? And then she said, she was like, I may open up for OnlyFans. She said, I'm doing it by myself now. I might open up an OnlyFans. So... Uh, I guess she's talking about the pictures that are a little too spicy for IG. She said she's going to make a uh, a point with a, a CD. She, I think she said it's like a uh, CD or something like that in order to put the pictures on where you can purchase it, right? And she said, I may, you know, sell it on my OnlyFans. So Megan Thee Stallion was teasing people OnlyFans. She's not really going to do an OnlyFans, people. I mean, stop it. And people's out there saying, oh, Megan Thee Stallion is going to do another. She's not going to really do an OnlyFans. And those, those pictures are probably, I mean, they're not nude. They're not nude pictures. They're probably, look, you know, something that she could probably get over putting it on Instagram. But this is a way of, you know, putting out extra content. And the people that, that support her. We'll pay for that content. So that's a smart move. But she's not really doing the OnlyFans. So she like how other people do OnlyFans. You know, she, she was laughing, joking around. So 
that don't don't take that too serious. Now Joe Button, after he stated that um, he loved Megan's song, and if you don't like that song, you just a hater. Well, Joe Buttons made in a, in a, an allegation that Megan Thee Stallion tricked Cardi B into releasing bongos because she knew it would flop. So, in other words, he is accusing Megan Thee Stallion of intentionally sabotaging or help sabotage Cardi B by, by uh, influencing her or convincing her to put bongos out. She said she'll even do a verse on it to put bongos out because she knew it was going to flop and then she knew she was coming right behind Bongo's song. So I'll let you listen to what Joe Button says. Um, I disagree totally with what Joe Button is saying. Um, I don't believe Megan Thee Stallion is that type of person, especially, or, or she is. She definitely doesn't have that type of relationship with Cardi B. I've seen enough now. I, I, if, if her and Cardi B wasn't more than just industry friends, it would have stopped at WAP. How many people just do one collaboration and then that's it? It would have stopped at WAP. They wouldn't, you know, she, Cardi also had her on her show. Cardi tries, right? Then she had over, she introduced her to her children. So I don't think that, that uh, Megan Thee Stallion has that type of relationship with Cardi B, that type of disgenuine relationship where she would, until she put out bongos, knowing that it's trash. So, because number one, bongos is not a trash song. I don't know where people getting all saying that Bongo's song is garbage. It was creative. It was different. I like the song. The song is, and the song is stabilized and it's doing a lot of different numbers on the charts. That's why I said it needs to be investigated for what's going on behind the scenes with these numbers because it's just too many reaction videos. It's too many challenges. It's too many, um, you know, uh, sales and stuff and views on, on uh, other sites and platforms. People are still doing challenge dances and making up dances to it. That has to; those numbers got to be investigated. So I'm gonna let you listen to what Joe Button says, and you let me know down below. Do you think Megan Thee Stallion intentionally sabotaged Cardi B? I do not think that whatsoever. But that's Joe Button's opinion. Um, I'll let you listen to what he said. And now she can do it. Shit into you music. went over there and gave Cardi that mid knowing you had this heat in your studio. <laughs> That's what she did. She went to Cardi's studio with that Congo Bongo bullshit that they both did and left like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> and she was in there getting information too, like, you going, you leading out with this? It's your first record. Hey, when you dropping? You video. When, when, when is it dropping? Yeah, no, this is gonna, this is gonna rattle. Yeah, this is it right here. It's gonna rattle the clubs. I might even come right after you. <laughs> <laughs> might even drop my record. How long? We should do like a combined rollout. The artists are shady. Artists are shady. I'm telling you that this happens. Tell me I'm wrong again when Cole think I'm right about everything. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Talk about it. Say it again. I get my Jermaine bag. <laughs> Fucking Yachty. But anyway, Meg, you got me. You got me. 